The topic of this afternoon's hearing is a uh, massive and increasing tide of asylum seekers, economic migrants, stateless persons, and displaced people who have been and continue to enter Europe, as we have seen, all seen in the videos and, and, and news reports. Migrants fleeing to Europe, uh, they have been an issue of humanitarian concern for several years. Uh, but a wave of immigration erupted into a tsunami this summer when the uh, German government announced it would ignore the Dublin rules and accept all Syrian refugees that made it to the German border. That announcement opened the gates for a flow of people to move from North Africa, the Middle East, and even Asia to transit through Greece Turkey, the Balkans, and northward into Europe. With some notable exceptions, countries have simply facilitated the movement of migrants through their territory as quickly as possible, sometimes working to register the asylum seekers and sometimes not. While individual <clears throat> stories of tragedy and humanitarian need are compelling, the aggregate number of people on the move is overwhelming. Uh, earlier this, year, this week, uh, the United Nations announced that 218,000 migrants crossed the Mediterranean Sea to Europe just last month. That is more than were recorded in all of 2014. It is expected that around a million asylum seekers of all origins will reach Germany in this year alone. Germany and the EU are deeply divided about how to stem the flow of migrants and what to do with those who have already entered. Clearly, what we have seen over the past few months is unsustainable and, if not checked, will change the fundamental nature of European countries which are now being inundated. What we are witnessing is the destruction of Western civilization, not by an armed invasion, but instead through envelopment. The effects of this will not soon disappear, but instead could well turn out to be an historic change in the nature of many European countries. Europe has been struggling to assimilate large Muslim populations, increasingly increasing examples they have seen this in Europe, increasing examples of anti-Semitism and radical Islamic violence clearly speak to the challenge of integration and the risks of failure in this situation. And, uh, and that was uh, before, of course, all of these, what we're talking about, these reports of this violence and anti-Semitism was before the current flow of immigrants began. Chancellor Merkel, is full of confidence that Germany can educate, train, and turn refugees into productive and contributing members of society. But that is a tall task by any measure. Uh, even the most optimistic scenarios say that Europe will have to redirect billions and billions of dollars from supporting their own citizens to, ac to accommodating the needs of these refugees. I hope in our conversation today, we can examine and discuss the massive influx of people into Europe and what will be the consequences for European society, culture, and political institutions. 